Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Polaris, think outside. Can-Am, time for some off-road living. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. In the world of freeride mountain biking, there are heroes and there are legends. Winning the infamous Red Bull Rampage event once will get you the first title. Winning it four times? That's what legends do. Brandon Semenuk has not only dominated Rampage, but is also known as one of the fastest, most technical, and most innovative bike riders the world has ever seen. We got to hang out with him at his home in British Columbia, Canada, to get a first-hand look at what he can do on a bike and find out how he uses Polaris side-by-sides to push his career to even higher levels. So where are we headed today? What are your, what are your thoughts? Uh, I was thinking we just go up on some local trails. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of trail work I'd like to do wait for this rain to pass and then uh we can uh ride once there's nice wet dirt so you're gonna give me a shovel while. yeah if you want to dig <laughs> i'll take i'll take all the slave work i, can I figured do. after where you've been for the past week maybe giving you a hand wouldn't be such a terrible thing yeah man <laughs> i'd also like to learn a bit because we don't do a lot of trail building where we're from but i'd like to know how better anyway yeah i mean the dirt should be pretty good with the, the rain today finally finally getting through the woods so yeah cool. this is uh this is the time to take advantage well, and the general is the perfect vehicle to get us up there, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. The trails are kind of tight here in BC, so we got the little two-seater general that kind of can dangle through the woods and, and get us closer to the to the mountain bike trails. You got it set up for hauling bikes and, and shovels and rakes and stuff, so it's kind of like a multi-purpose at this point. We've got like the bike rack on it, throw the tools in it, it's all enclosed, the defrost, so like you know we're coastal bc it's just it's always raining here and it's it gets a little cold so keep yourself dry and uh get to the spot on time just totally spoiled I'm, I'm very spoiled Before you had a general, what would you use to get up the hill and the mountain to, to get to a spot to start working on trails and stuff? Uh, typically, just, I mean, we'd be riding up, which is never that fun, with tools especially, or uh, or just like a, our, our personal vehicle. We tend to take a bit of a beating. Where we parked the general is just a little walk into the bush from uh, a bike trail. So we're gonna go face up some jumps and do a bit of digging and uh, Brandon's gonna show us what it looks like in real life to hit a jump on a trail. Everything out here is so steep. It's all like straight down everywhere you go.
Dirt Tracks is sponsored by MBRP Performance Exhaust, built for the Victory Lab. There's no question Brandon is among the best mountain bikers who have ever lived, but in recent years, he has also begun to pursue another of his passions on a professional level. From a young age, Brandon fell in love with rally cars and rally racing. After a successful career as a privateer driver, he landed a ride on Subaru's factory rally team. Three short years later, in 2022, he and his navigator won the American Rally Association Championship, solidifying him as not just one of the world's best mountain bikers, but one of the world's best rally drivers as well. After taking a ride with you in this Razor on these back roads and access roads, I have to say that was probably the most shocking thing I've ever done in a side-by-side -side at just how fast you drive this. And this isn't even your rally car. Like what, what must it be like in a rally car to be on roads this tight? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, this is basically a bone stock machine other than we, we do have some different tires on it and, and some competition seats and harnesses, but yeah, straight out of the box. Uh, you can get into it pretty pretty good. It's it's uh, comparable to the rally car. The rally car is obviously what we've been driving is factory Subaru car, uh, very very capable. So it, it is quicker. It's it's definitely been more um, you know built for this purpose, balanced for this purpose. So it's a really good car. But considering that this is like you know a tenth of the price and we haven't even really set it up yet, and you can go do that. It's it's pretty insane. Right out of the showroom, you can get a similar rally feel. I mean, on a, on a smaller scale, of course, but you can get that kind of exciting sideways, back into the corners feel. Absolutely. Anybody can, yeah, just maybe it's... don't try this at home, you know? <laughs> all, all the inputs are the same. Uh, obviously the characteristics of the machine is a bit different than a rally car, but you're still, you're doing the same driving techniques. You're, you're using the machine the same, you're driving the road the same, using your apexes, yeah, getting it sideways, left foot braking, so. It's, uh, yeah, it's proper. I did start uh, low class rally car production cars, you know, maybe 12, almost 13 years ago now. You kind of, you move up the, the ranks and then eventually I kind of got to a point where my speed was getting good. I was becoming competitive, but it obviously gets really expensive to get into these open class cars and these factory cars. When side-by-sides started to come around, we were, we were using for filming and building mountain bike trails and whatnot, but they're starting to get like really good for actually like performance driving. So started to, you know, do a bit more with side-by-sides and just, just getting back on the back roads is seat time, it's way cheaper. Uh, and then the American Championship actually opened up some opportunities to compete in uh, side-by-sides at the rally event. So events I was already kind of doing but I couldn't afford to go there with a full-blown rally car. So it was like, well, let's, you know, you know, let's do the affordable way and just take the side-by-side -side I drive every day and, and just go up there with it and see how it holds up. And, and we had some really good success with just a stock side-by-side. -side. So uh, it was honestly just cheap seat time. Like, and it, it was amazing because I was doing it all the time. I was comfy in it already. Like we're literally on, you know, the same road rallying like this. And so I already had a really good feel in the machine. And then I go to the rally and it'd just be the same thing on new roads. and pushing the machine and it was it was amazing so that really helped me gain more experience to you know build up and, and capitalize on when I was in a proper rally car you know full-blown open class car or like a rally two car it just upped my level with uh, with driving dirt tracks is sponsored by princess auto make it work So really for you, rally just kind of came about because I mean, like a lot of kids, a lot of young kids, it just looked awesome. Absolutely, yeah, we just, it, it looked, it just looked like mountain biking with an engine, you know, it was like <laughs> the roads are like the mountain bike trail and, and that is the feeling you get when you're in these, it's just, it's just amplified speed wise and, and the, the feeling you get in the, the cockpit, cockpit of the machine. So uh, yeah, it just, it just looked way too fun. You and I were talking quite a bit about 
what is it about this Razor that gives you that same kind of feel of being in a rally car and, and therefore gives you that aspect of training because you're getting that same feeling but what is it about the razor that just works for you what why is this vehicle the, the vehicle of choice yeah i mean obviously it's like polaris's ultimate performance machine like this is the new platform for uh, performance in, in a lot of categories obviously desert and and back roads like these and going to the short course tracks and whatnot so this for me like the aspects that that kind of allow us to to do what we're doing today has been uh you know the the engine package is insane like naturally aspirated four cylinder it's it's that instant power so you can hard on brakes and instant on throttle get that you know get the wheels turning get get the drive to the ground so that's definitely um a big one for me and then the balance of the machine i, th I think they've done a really good job with with this new machine like obviously the sway bars they've added and the, and the way the suspension works it really stands the machine up you don't get too much body roll so you can you can quickly kind of adjust your your balance from corner to corner, get the machine sliding both ways. Dynamics DV has a big part in that too. Yeah, absolutely. This, the active suspension is is unreal, and you you have your own settings, so uh, you know you can flip through and figure out what works for you. Uh, obviously, we were we were on a track setting today. I think it gives us the most feeling through the steering wheel. It, it holds the machine nice and like tight, just like it doesn't allow it to to be too lazy. Um, so that's that's been a big part, along with you know obviously the the way that all the control arms and, and sway bars are set up. It's just way more balanced than other machines I've driven. So you can, uh, I mean, there's a lot of power too. So <laughs> I was gonna say it's balanced, you're, but it also you're goes pushing like crazy. It, yeah, it really <laughs> needs that balance because you're able to you know, push uh, at a, a much higher speed than some of the machines I've had in the past. Yeah, as far as motorsports go, I, I'm stoked to do more with uh, Polaris and UTVs. Obviously, rally is my passion. Stage rally is, is what I want to do for a, a long time if I have the opportunity. Hopefully, get to experience some, some world rally rounds, some other championships, you know, branch outside of uh, just North America. Just, you know, new roads, new experiences, new drivers. But, but obviously, American Championship has been, uh, you know, our main target the last few years. So, you know, like definitely within North America, I want to stay competitive as well. Uh, we'll just see what opportunities kind of present themselves, but as long as I'm behind the wheel and I, I get to do this stuff, I'm, <laughs> I'm happy. Awesome. Dirt Tracks has been sponsored by Hercules Tire, ride in our strength. Tire Jet, full tire protection and permanent seal. And by Mad Ramps, leave the trailer and go. It's been a minute since we test rode an Arctic Cat. In fact, it was four years ago that Textron pulled the sheets off an all new Wildcat Double X. And today, we've got a Wildcat Double X Black Hills Edition. I'm gonna be telling you what makes this vehicle so special and do my best to answer some of the questions you've been asking us about this machine. Before we get into specifics about the Double X, I will let you know that from what we've seen here in Thief River Falls, it feels like Cat is back on the throttle. There's a refocus on their dealers and getting product back into dealerships which has steadily improved of late. Production is up and running and the plant's busy and there's a palpable feeling of optimism around CAT that we haven't seen in a while. The Wildcat XX as well as the Altera 600 and Prowler Pro models are assembled right here in Thief River Falls, Minnesota by hardworking Americans. The frame, ROPs and suspension components as well as other parts are manufactured here as well. It's still powered by Yamaha's bulletproof 998cc triple, turning out a claimed 130 horsepower, which is mated to Arctic Cat's adapt continuously variable transmission. No, the XX is not turbocharged, but I will say this about its power delivery. 
When you step on the gas, you can feel every bit of the 130 horsepower hit the ground as these tires hook up. And blasting through trails and whooped out straightaways, the power on tap is ample and more than enough to keep the average driver smiling. The base model Double X is competitively priced at just over 23 grand US and features the 130 horsepower 998cc triple I mentioned earlier. Now, that's more power on tap than a Razer XP1K Premium for less money. This Black Hills Edition, which by the way is only available in the US, sorry Canada, is priced at almost 28 grand US, which is up around the same price as a Razer Pro XP or an X3. Now this Black Hills Edition is a really nice package and there's lots of value there. However, in my humble opinion, I feel like its pricing could present some challenges for Articat. Regardless though, let's take a look at what this package includes for that extra cost. The Wildcat XX Black Hills Edition features 32-inch Kenda Cleaver tires, an all-new stronger and more durable transaxle with 40% lower gear ratio for increased traction in lower gears. It also features Articat's Adapt Clutch and a new completely sealed clutch cover that allows more airflow to the clutches to keep belt temps running cooler. It also includes a front bumper, a worn winch, rock sliders, and a standard roof. Probably the coolest feature on the Black Hills Edition that sets it apart from the base model XX is its factory installed Garmin Tread GPS. The GPS features a full color five and a half inch screen, detailed maps and satellite imagery, plus it features vehicle orientation and a group ride function that lets you keep track of your friends that are out riding with you. We had a chance to use the Garmin Tread GPS and it's a really nice system. It's bright, colorful and easy to use and can be operated with your gloves on. Plus, the screen can be removed quickly and fits in your pocket so you can take it inside with you at the end of your ride. Its race-inspired suspension features unequal length A-arms up front, a beefy trailing arm rear suspension, and 18 inches of travel is achieved thanks to premium Fox 2.5 inch QS3 shocks featuring bottom out control. These shocks allow you to adjust between soft, medium, and firm settings and feature bottom out control, which provides an extra 3,000 pounds of damping force when you hit a massive geo. Now, some of you rock stars out there think you might need more adjustability out of your shocks than just three settings, but for the majority of riders, three positions is all you'll ever need. And adjustments can be made quickly and easily thanks to the larger dial knob, and these shocks don't require tools to make adjustments. There is some noticeable body roll, but as you adjust to it, you quickly learn that you can drive through it and counter steer while you accelerate out of the corners. The faster you start to take on big whoops and really start challenging the suspension, the smoother the ride becomes, and it tackles big bumps like you're floating on a cloud. The XX Black Hills Edition also features shift on the fly two to four wheel drive and an all new locking front diff for tackling more aggressive scenarios. Couple that with the new lower gear ratio transaxle 15 inches of ground clearance and the 32 inch Kenda Cleaver tires. And this machine is capable of attacking any aggressive riding conditions you can talk yourself into. I mentioned it earlier, but I love the fact that CAT included a roof on the Black Hills Edition. And I'm a big fan of these full doors. They're at the right height and they go all the way to the bottom. In Luke's last test ride of the Double X, he did point out how the frame member hidden under this panel made getting in and out of the Wildcat a bit more challenging. And I gotta agree. Getting in and out of this machine all day did start to feel like a bit of a chore. However, I feel the same way about getting in and out of an X3, so it just might be my age showing. Truthfully though, it's not gonna be a deal breaker. And if you own this machine, you'd probably figure out a way to live with it. Further to my very short list of gripes about this vehicle is this area around the Garmin GPS. It kind of looks like it was done in a shop and not done in the factory. And I feel like because it's such an important accessory on this vehicle, they could have done a better job of integrating this into the dash. It would have looked prettier and would have really highlighted the fact that it's an important part of this vehicle. The digital instrumentation is the same unit we've seen from CAT for the last decade. We have the same opinion about the gauges on CAT snowmobiles and feel that Articat has enough resources at its disposal to produce a brighter digital display featuring a full color screen that shows a wider variety of vehicle information. We have to think CAT's actively working on something like this that will be used across the board on its sleds and off-road vehicles. The Black Hills Edition comes standard with a 65 amp alternator and pre-installed wiring, so it's ready for accessories like auxiliary lighting or a sound bar. While I can't speak to the long-term durability of this machine, it has been designed with durability in mind, like double shear steering and suspension components, a forged aluminum front knuckle, oversized front and rear wheel bearings, a hanging rear drivetrain, and removable rear bottom skid plates. 
so you can beat on your Wildcat and with proper care and maintenance, it'll keep coming back for more. The side-by-side -side market is incredibly competitive with more powerful machines featuring more advanced technology being introduced every season. The Wildcat XX Black Hills Edition proves to us that Articat's listening to its customers and taking this market seriously.